welcome to Burgess Hill Town Football Club's. Is that Taylor Seymour on the bell? Give it a ring, Taylor. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good evening to Burgess Hill Town FC Awards 2023 24. Yes. Okay. Right. I have the pleasure of introducing the MC for the evening. And I, in fact, I don't need to give him any introduction other than to say, ladies and gentlemen, John Buck. Come on, John. Well, I'm not sure whether I've got to sing a song or what am I going to do, but I'm, uh, I'm the MC for the night. Hang on, is it working? I'm the MC for the night, and if you can't hear me, I'll speak louder and louder until you can hear me. I'll just get crowd control. Uh, uh, crowd control. Tina is now organising the chairs, and uh, if, if, you, if Tina says you sit, you sit. <laughs> Right, we're going to start with the under-18 uh, presentations tonight, and we're going to call up Gary, Aidy, and Ros. We're going to make a few, say a few words, and if they go on longer than 10 o'clock, please stop them. But we're going to call up the three, and they'll make the under-18 awards. Come on, Gary, Aidy, and Ros. Um, really appreciate it. I know we're here for the senior awards as well, but. These guys are such an important component of this football club um, and, and the senior guys will acknowledge what they've delivered for the squad this year and what they've delivered for the club. So massive congratulations to this group. As ever, we'll start with the thank yous, and I will miss people, so apologies. I will catch you at the bar at some point if I do miss you. Um, so we start with the obvious one, my, my long-suffering wife, who... <laughs> Get that one out first, just in case. So, uh, <laughs> um, but she suffers um, with my moods, so if you're, if you're great, she's happy. If you're rubbish, <laughs> She knows to stay out of the way, <laughs> hide in the room at the back. And it's the same for you boys as well. This speech will go on again later. Um, but no, brilliant. She's brilliant. She's very tolerant, um, but really holds everything together. And she's the one that kind of lifts me up when, it, when, it, when I'm down with the results or things are not going away. So I really do show her appreciation, please. <laughs> Um, then, then the next thank you is to this guy beside me. Um, Ross, unfortunately, is not here. He's sunning himself in Dubai or somewhere like that, you know, Marbella or wherever he goes this time of year. Um, but AD is still here in the rain by my side. Um, <laughs> has been really important to us this year, um, particularly as we transitioned into first team football um, and we kind of left these guys in the lurch. AD was the one that picked up the slack um, and I don't think people realise how much work goes into not just the first team but running the under 18s, under 18s history and under 18s county and without this guy none of it happens. Okay, none of it happens. Then there is the thank you to the guys around the club. Um, again, they offer us the platform to develop these boys. They offer us the ground for them to go and play, the kit, um, absolutely everything. The volunteers who do the changing rooms, supply the match balls, make sure the corner flags are out. Again, these boys will get a pitch to play on, you know, a brilliant pitch to play on. Without the volunteers and, and the brilliant people at this football club, none of that happens. So I want you boys to show you appreciation to these guys for what they do. And then, of course, there are you guys, um, because we are very blessed at this football club not just to have a pool of talent that rivals any football club in Sussex, um, 
but what a brilliant, brilliant group of lads you really, really are. Um, that are going on to be men um, at a brilliant level of football and you will kick on um, and some of you will kick on beyond this football club and we're very, very proud to acknowledge that and being a part of that journey. So give these guys... <laughs> So we'll get on with the awards now. This is the bit that everyone's here for. Um, so we're, we've, we've got two teams at under 18s. We've got a team that plays in the um, Southern Combination County League on a Sunday. Um, and I'm very proud to say that these guys last week sealed the league title, uh, this nice cut behind 80 here. Um, So we're going to start with the, the County 18s awards um, and the first award is um, Outstanding Contribution and when we look at this we look at moments in the season where uh, the game changes or someone that's contributed something that, that is so important that it's a bit of a turning point or it's picking the lads up um, and this lad went through a bit of a rough spell right at the start of the year but turned himself around, turned us around and scored some goals at really important moments moments that meant that we went on to win the league he's not unf unfortunately he's not here so we're going to ask we're going to ask someone to come up and collect it on his behalf but the winner of this award is billy sale so charlie can you come and grab it the next one is the most important award for me um this is the biggest achievement for any player which is the player's player if your peers vote for you i think i don't think there's a bigger honor in football um, and this year's player's player, unfortunately he's not here, <laughs> is Billy Sale. Uh, Kian, where's Kian? Kian? Not there. Um, this is the management player of the year. Um, I say this every year, it's always a tough decision, but this year, honestly, was the hardest decision. There were so many good players this year. Everyone contributed so much. It was a really, really tough decision. Um, but we felt this lad had moments. Um, we felt he gave us everything in all the games that he played. He's had to work, he's had to challenge. Um, but we're really proud of everything he's done this year. And this year's Management Player of the Year for our county side is Austin Potter. Uh, on to our Ishmian under-18s team. Um, what a year these boys have had. They're going to finish third in the Ishmian League, um, but for me, the only reason they're going to finish third is because of the way we picked them apart halfway through the season. For me, this is the best team in the Ishmian League. But in December, I stepped out of the Ishmian 18s to take on the first team job, and I took five of our players with us. And then we left these guys kind of in the middle of rearranging themselves. AD was chucked in, these guys were chucked in, um, and it derailed us a little bit. But these guys never lost faith. They cracked on and had a brilliant year. They'll finish third in the Ishmian League, got to the first round of the FA Youth Cup, which is a hell of an achievement. And for 60 minutes, you wouldn't have known who was the EFL club and who was Burgess Hill Town. Um, they've won the County League. We've had 11 of these boys make debuts for our first team this year. Not throwaway debuts either, competitive debuts, 11 of these boys. Um, the first award is um, the Outstanding Contribution Award. And, and we've gone for a lad that's been really patient with us. This, this lad joined us at 15. Um, and in the first year he was with us, he didn't play. He, he just got around training, he'd come down, sit on the bench, just get around it. The second year became very, very consistent, got himself minutes, got in the team regularly. And then in the third year, he became our club captain. Um, and that's the biggest honour we could say to him. And we wanted to give him this award to acknowledge what he's actually given to this team throughout, and that is Taylor Edwards. <laughs> OK, as I said earlier, um, this is a big award to win the player's player. Um, and it, it's a tough one for these guys to vote. And the voting was really close. Um, but I'm kind of pleased this, this lad won it because I think his, 
um, contribution, his achievements this year need to be acknowledged. Um, and that player is Alex Brewer. Yeah. He averages 2.2 .2 goals a game, which isn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the final award for the under 18s is the Ishmian Management uh, Teams Player of the Year. And again, really difficult. Um, and we kind of looked at well, who's been in the team regularly, who's been consistent, who's delivered. Um, really hard. So many to choose from. So many players have made first team debuts, done really well. And it's been really difficult for us. But we just felt this lad has just kept on, he's been steady, he's been consistent all the way through, offers a bit of flair, really good player, bright, bright future ahead of him. And our management team's player of the year is Theo Marion. Can you hear me okay? It's very strange being at this side of it. It feels, sounds very odd, sounds very odd. Um, First, I'd like to thank everybody, um, the, the fans, uh, the uh, volunteers and the players for the absolutely incredible warm welcome that you've given both Vicky and I into the club. Um, we are new to Burgess Hill Town Football Club, uh, we're new to Burgess Hill and we're certainly new to non-league football and um, it's been an interesting and um, exciting at times um, uh, learning curve um, and uh, we've been involved in pretty much almost all of the season um, and uh, it's been certainly an emotional roller coaster. Um, but I would like to thank Tina and, and uh, Vince. I just remembered your name then. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and, um, and thank them for, uh, for talking Vicky and I into getting involved in this club. Um, it, was, uh, it was a pretty good Vince um, convincing uh, exercise that he did on us um, but it's been great we've really appreciated it um, it's uh, it's obviously a challenge to be involved in a club like this it's surprisingly complicated business um, you know financially and all the moving parts of a, of a small football club like this it's really complicated and I think Vince and Tina have done an absolutely fantastic um, job at doing it. So, and plus the fact that we decided, you know, to, to have a slight strength change in manager strategy halfway through the season, that was also a bit of fun as well, wasn't it? Um, so, only won this season, though. Um, so, I'm very, very lucky to have, I think, probably the best um, uh, part of the evening, where uh, what I've realised, when I, I'm a football fan, not footballer, I'm a football fan, so I have always considered the most important part of any football club is the fans. I've actually realised I was wrong. The most important part of, of uh, any football club is the volunteers. Um, and the volunteers at this club are apps. I had no appreciation of how incredible the volunteers are um, at, at this club especially and, and what keeps non-league going. Um, so when I was asked to, to give the awards, I was thinking, well, Christ, okay, I, I, we can't give it to everybody, so I'm immediately going to get lambasted by somebody saying, well, hold on a sec, where's my award? I've done, a, I've done more than them, so it, it's a bit of a challenge. So, um, so they, officially, they are the Outstanding Contribution Awards, um, but I've got, I've got five names that I need to give awards to, but there are three people that um, I wanted to give a, a, a special shout-out to because they're not outstanding contribution, even though they have given outstanding contribution. So I just wanted to give a, a shout out. Um, so, um, so John Buck obviously does a fantastic job, but however, he's made to look good by the ladies <laughs> that do all the jobs for him. Um, so uh, one of those ladies I'd like to take a shout out to um, is Linda. Basically, looks after the, the um, director's group. Um, she looks after the, the Monday club guys and girls that help on that. And again, uh, an unsung volunteer that's, uh, that's fantastic. So there's some flowers for Linda. There we are. So the next person I want to shout out for, so normally when we sign people from Haywards Heath, 
I, we don't particularly like them. <laughs> Do you know what? I had no problems with Hayley Ratif until I got involved in this club. It seemed quite a nice town, but now I hate it. Um, so, um, but one good signing that we made from Hayley Ratif this season um, is our, our kit lady. Um, so I want a big, big shout out to Natalie. Uh, where are you, Nat? Um, Nat, you're, she's over there. Nat, I've got some, some flowers for you. Natalie, can you make it over here? Right. So, first outstanding contribution award. Um, again, unsung heroes, people that without them, this club just wouldn't operate. Um, so, this guy, he drags kit to and from games, um, turns up home and away in order to do this. Um, he is, you know, helps stewarding on the, on the games. Um, he's around. He actually accounts for 7.3% of all of our bar taking, um, which is fantastic. And, and you can pretty much guarantee on match days, he is the last person to leave the bar. Dan. Right. Um, so I'm going back to the flowers again. Um, so I was told not to leave her to last, and now I'm told to bring a foot. Hey, it's chaos up here. Um, so I, we wanted to give a, a massive thank you to um, to our bar manager, um, manager S, um, who I have to say. Um, when the toilets blocked the last week um, and we, she had her hands down the toilet, these flowers are not enough um, to thank her. But I'd like to say, Nicola, thank you so much for everything. You, your passion and everything for this is amazing. So again, volunteers, people are prepared to turn up each week and do stuff for nothing for the club. Um, and in this next volunteer, it's we've got a professional doing basically the job for our club for free. And it's I, I'm, I'm said I'm absolutely gobsmacked the amount of time this gentleman puts into the club. And you players, um, you know, really should appreciate the efforts that Richard Mamoni uh, puts in to be in the groundsman at the club. Um, so, Richard, apart from the fact that every time we mention the word 3G, you get really irritated. Um, but thank you so much. You've been an absolute superstar. Really appreciate it. Um, so, um, the next award um, goes to somebody who's... Um, we've upgraded her this year. Um, she's gone from a table to the shed. Um, so, uh, and I'm, I'm a huge passion uh, for, for crap club merchandise. Um, I absolutely love it. Everywhere I go to another club, I've got to check out the, the shop. Um, and we've got two incredibly passionate people that are turn up each week and they man that shop. And um, unfortunately for Andy, the award's not going to him. Um, <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, she's been fantastic for the club for many, many years. Um, she's now introduced Bingo Nights. Um, <laughs> on the last Sunday of the month, or first Sunday of the month? First Sunday, first Sunday of the month. First, first one was last, last week, and it was incredibly popular, so that was great. So um, I'd like to give this award to the scourge of Matt Longhurst, um, <laughs> Debbie Ferris. Debbie, where are you? Um, so... The next award goes to the, to the person responsible for, in my opinion, and I would say that, uh, that lots of people have the same opinion as me, I think we have the best football programme in the league by some distance. Um, I think it's absolutely quality, and I can't tell you the disappointment when I turn up to a club and it's online. I mean, it's just, well, that means nobody's going to read it. Um, so... Um, now, the only disappointment with that is that Dave decides to live 300 miles away in Cornwall. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that maybe that they ban non-Cornish people living in Cornwall and you have to come back and move back to Burgess Hill because we miss you. Um, but hey, you've been fantastic for the club. The, everything you've done um, in terms of the publicity and the advertising and obviously the programme is very, very much appreciated. Dave Bradbury. Yay!
And the final award that you'll all be pleased that it's only the final award. Um, so this gentleman is, our, uh, is in, on match days. It may look like chaos, but it's actually controlled chaos. And it's controlled by our match day operations uh, manager, um, who is more than that. He turns up Sundays, he's sorting stuff out in the, the pitches and all sorts of things. But um, this gentleman is fantastic. He's a, he is a gentleman and uh, always very welcoming to everybody he meets. Uh, Colin Obard. Right, now we come to an award now by what's called the John Buck Award, whoever John Buck is. But I was asked years ago to give an award to who I thought was giving an outstanding contribution to the season or to the club for the season. It's been given to manager. Ian Chapman had it. Ashley Carr had it. And uh, Tim Spencer had it. Uh, uh, even Chris, uh, not even, but Chris, the <laughs> photographer, had it. So it goes through a, a variety of people uh, I, I, I give this award to. Now, this year, uh, we, we, we are so lucky that we've got a band of volunteers, which I did start with a, a fella called, um, what was his name, uh, Freddie Weatherall. Freddie Weatherall and me, and we, we started, then was a Ray Hurst. We started coming down on Mondays or after, the, after games and tidying up. And that, uh, that, I was sort of running that, but now I'm getting too old to do that. And so, yeah, so uh, we, we, we have got this lovely lot of volunteers that get behind the scenes and do all this work. And this, this year I'm going to give the award, I'd like to give the award to somebody who used to play for Burgess Hill. I could tell you about his first goal he scored for Burgess Hill, like a diving header between somebody's legs. But... <laughs> But this, this fella has taken the, the horns, he's, he's really made it much more professional than what I used to do it, and a, a, a really, really super, super guy, Tommy Manor. Yeah. OK, so this is a tradition at Birds Hill Town Football Club. The award um, was first awarded in 2004. We have had many winners since then. Uh, we've only had two women ever win this award. This is the award that the chairman gives that recognises special effort, achievement with volunteers. Um, so it is a tradition. Jack Lake was someone that worked for the Rotary Club, if I've understood it correctly. And this was quite a big deal back in the day because this award was actually given at the Rotary Club as well. Uh, but the Rotary Club don't turn up here anymore, probably because they owe us a bit of money for a sponsorship board. But that's another story for another day. Um, anyway, um, I've had a good think who I should give the award to. Last year's winners here, Mr. John Goss, by the way. Uh, that's the sort of caliber. That's the sort of caliber of winner that we're talking about. I've had a I've had a long think, and um, the person that I'm going to give it to is somebody that. Um, has helped me massively in uh, the job that, that I do, both with the juniors and the seniors. Um, has definitely kept me grounded, or certainly tried to keep me grounded at times when I'm uh, running away with ideas and uh, grabbing opportunities that is going to um, take a lot of effort to, to land. Um, and it's a voice that has always been there for me that I think if I didn't have that voice, I don't think I would have been able to to, to do as much as we've done. Um, and I'm forever grateful. Um, and just to give you a, an idea of the kind of person she is, uh, she does so much work in her, her own time, which she hasn't even got. Uh, and, you know, she, uh, in the summer, I think it was, she said she's got to take a break and she stepped away. Um, but she didn't actually step away, she kept doing all the work, and she's still doing all the work now. Uh, it just shows you what commitment she has to this football club, uh, to me and Tina especially, and we honestly couldn't do this without her. That's, that's the biggest compliment I can give her. And uh, we love her, and uh, I wanna give the award to the third woman to ever win this award, Amanda Lippitt. <laughs> Well done, Amanda. Basically, if you get 
Um, so, where to start with this? Uh, not quite sure. Um, this kind of sums up where we began as a group. Um, season started with a different manager, different group. Um, we kind of, Vince was on his button as usual in, the, in December. Um, and we found ourselves landed in a job. Um, so that's where I think I'll start, is to thank Vince, Tina, uh, David and Vicky for the faith that they put in me. Um, never managed at senior level, let alone step four. So for these guys to recognise something in me and see something in me and trust what we, we would go on to do and what we believe we can do and what we can achieve um, is massive for me personally. So from, from me personally to you guys, a big thank you. Um, then there's the management team around me, because um, these guys, without these guys, it would be very difficult for us to progress and keep doing what we're doing. Um, Lewis, obviously, club legend, yes. overhead kick, yes. all of that. Aidy, <laughs> <laughs> um, Ross, Bertie, um, Bubsy, Jay, um, Nat. All, all the guys, John Goss, who's been brilliant for us, all, Ryan Box, everyone, Richard, sorting the pitch <laughs> out. Uh, I'm just looking around the room. <laughs> um, Elise. <laughs> Can't miss Elise. Looking after the players' welfare and, and their injuries. Um, absolutely amazing. And, and so much goes into running a senior football club and running the first team that without these guys, it, it's just not possible. Um, so I, I, please show your appreciation to these guys. Get me through it. <laughs> um, and then there's the players. What, what I find is really important is when we took on the role, we went on a, um, a brilliant run. And that was easy. Management was easy. It, it, it really was. I thought, well, this is easy. We just <laughs> get the ball down, we play, we kick it in the goal. <laughs> nothing to it. Don't know what all the fuss is about. But you learn and you appreciate the group when you're not winning. Um, we, went on, we went on a good run and then we went on a really bad run. And that's when you learn about people. And one of the things that gets you through them kind of times, and we struggled, we did struggle with it because we're, we're used to winning and with these under-18s guys, we're used to winning. And what gets you through it is you've got to have a good dressing room. Um, and I'm really blessed. And although results haven't always gone our way, we haven't always got to deserve, one thing I do feel very blessed about is that we've got a good dressing room. And that's credit to these guys and a big thank you to them. And I know all the management teams share this. These guys, what a dressing room. When we look at the season as a whole, um, I don't see it as a disappointing season. I see it as a progressive season. From where we were, where we're going, what we're doing, I see it as a really progressive season. We've built some really important infrastructure around behind the club. These guys, what they're doing off the pitch is really important. What we're trying to put in place to, to offer a platform for next year, what these guys have, have trusted us to do and what they're trying to um, do and, and the trust in the process and the way we want to play. Um, they've been really brave to do what we do um, and that takes a lot of courage. But I will dedicate that second goal to John Buck. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe, maybe that'll be next year. Okay. <laughs> um, but it does take a lot of bravery to do the way we want to do. We wanted to come in and we wanted to change the style of football. We wanted to play a brand of football that maybe doesn't suit this level of football. But these guys went with it. They went with it. They didn't shirk it. They didn't say it doesn't work. When things went against us, they kept doing it, kept plugging away, kept doing it. And I think today we got what we deserved, which we haven't always got. So brilliant to use. Boys, thank you for that. <laughs> so 
So we'll get on with the awards now. <laughs> um, the first one is the President's Cup Supporters Award. Um, really important award for me. Like Players Player, I think it's really important that everyone around it that's not too close to it gets to, gets to have their vote. Um, and this year they've gone for a player that, that has been in the team consistently, been brilliant, had some brilliant moments, scored some really good goals, two really good goals. Um, <laughs> fully deserves this award, in my opinion, and that is Kieran Rowe. Okay, I, I did offer this one to Lewis Taylor, but he's uh, bold. Oh, <laughs> but didn't he look good? Smells lovely. The next one, the next one is um, Young Player of the Year award. Um, and as I said earlier, we've had 11 under 18s make their debut. Some players have played a few minutes, some have made appearances here and there, but one lad has just come into this team and he's smashed it out of the park. Um, he's been absolutely unbelievable and he, this lad will be watched and he will go on to massive, massive things. And he needs a new introduction, it's Harry Lawson. Um, next one is the management teams player of the year. Um, and, and we kind of had quite a big debate about this one because there was two or three players that, that we felt added lots of value um, to the club this year. But we decided to go with a player that you don't always appreciate what this, what this guy does um, until he's not doing what he's doing. And when this guy went out of the team, we, we recognised that, well, we missed him. Massively missed him. Shut up, Gail. It's not Taylor Seymour, just so you know. <laughs> but we do miss you, Taylor. <laughs> Our management team player of the year. When things weren't going right, this lad just kept on, kept on, kept on. Um, our winner is Dan Perry. <laughs> Um, the final award is, for me, I said it earlier, I'll say it again, this is the biggest award you can win at any football club. If your teammates, your peers are voting you as player of the season, there's no bigger honour. Um, that's, that's the biggest respect you can get at any football club, in my opinion. Um, and this guy um, epitomises what, what we're about, what we're looking for. Work rate is off the chart. Um, never stops. Demands... <laughs> Not you! Oh, sorry. Demands quality, um, but sets the example. Winner of this year's Players Player, fully deserved, Kieran Rowe. I've got to say a special thank you to the people who put this on tonight. We used to have our, our annual dinner in a stuffy hotel in Brighton, all wearing suits and things like that. But this atmosphere like this tonight is really good. good. And, and Vince and Tina and Dave and, and Vicky, they really put on a good, good night tonight. So a, a special, give a special round of applause to the, those four. Right, OK. Thank you. Right. Um, so we, we're going to end with the, the chairman's speech, OK? So I've got to say a few words very quickly. Uh, but before I do, there's a couple, of, um, a couple of thank yous that I want to give as well. Um, so the first one is to a guy that has... I can't put into words how much he's helped the football club. Financially, as well as the fact that he attends every single game, home and away. Uh, he's Burgess Hill through and through. He's probably at the bar as we speak. He's probably not in here. But I, I want to go on record in thanking Tom Welfare. So big round of applause for Tom. 
Is he actually in it? Well, massive thank you to Tom. Um, he is an absolute legend. Thank you. A uh, couple of other quick ones as well. Um, we had a lot of help from a lot of people. So Ryan Box, the stuff he's been doing. Chris, the photographer. Steve, who does all our under 18 secretary work. Massive, massive thank you to Steve. John Rumble, our uh, announcer that no one can hear because he never turns the volume up. But take it from me, he's bloody good. Uh, I just wish you could hear what he says. Uh, John Rumble. Um, now, the Vice Chairman, Mr. John Goss. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We have got one last award as well. Um, so someone at the football club has ticked over 20 years of volunteering here. Um, it's our club secretary, Tim. It's unbelievable how much he does for us, how much he keeps me in check and challenges me as well. Um, we couldn't do it without him, and we couldn't let this moment pass without acknowledging the fact that he's done this for 20 years. So, Tim, come up and get a round of applause. comments are, look, I've put all the reviews in the, in the programme notes about the progress we made this season, on and off the pitch, it's all there for you. But what, I, I just want to say this, this football club is going places, it really is. The ambition, the potential it has, the stuff that we're looking to build, this club is definitely going on the up. We've got so many exciting plans here. And do you know what? It's exactly what this town, what you supporters deserve. So we are totally determined and we're very capable in getting something going here that is going to be unbelievable. So watch this space. And do you know what? That's all I want to say to you all is just watch this space. OK, have a great evening. <laughs> You can all go now.